Today we are diving deep into something that's been catching fire in the tech world, AI agents. And tech like AI agents are important for both junior and senior developers because near future you may get asked to implement or to hook an AI agent with some kind of application and you better know how to do it. So this could be an important video if you are learning the AI stuff and take it as an introduction to AI agents and agentic development. And in this video, we are going to cover following items. What are AI agents, how they are changing software development, and real world examples of what you can build with them. So let's get started. So let's start with what are AI agents. Let's start with the basics. An AI agent is essentially an autonomous or semi-autonomous program powered by artificial intelligence that can perceive its environment, make decisions, and act to achieve a goal just like a human would do uh, in a limited context. Think of it as a worker that doesn't sleep. You give it an objective, it figures out the steps to reach the goal using reasoning, memory, and tools. Unlike traditional automation, where we are hard-coded every rule, AI agents are adaptive. They learn, they iterate, and they work with uncertainty. So let me give you a simpler analogy. If ChatGPT is like a super intelligent assistant that answers your question, an agent, you can uh, think of it like an intern, you get trust with some kind of task, right? And it gets things done by itself. So the second part is how do AI agents work? At the core, AI agents rely on language models like GBD, Claude, and wrapped inside a decision-making tool. And here's what typically happen inside uh, an agent. You give it a goal, for example, build me a basic to-do list app, right? The agent breaks down the problem, the design, the UI, it will create a backend, write tests, and everything, like every sort of thing like you would do. Third, it then uses tools, maybe a code interpreter, browser, database, or file system to execute each steps. And if it gets stuck or make mistakes, it tries it again, just like you and I would do. This is often called the react pattern, reasoning and acting, combining two words. So some agents even maintain long-term memory, so they can remember what they did uh, in the past sessions. And this is super useful when you're building large project over time. And why they matter for software development? Now, here's the exciting part. Why should you care, right? AI agents can dramatically speed up the software development process. Here's how. First is repetition. They can generate boilerplate code quickly. Second is reasoning. They can help make decisions like should I use Firebase or Superbase? And in testing, they can write and run unit tests automatically. And when it comes to deployment, some agents can set up their own CI/CD pipelines and they can deploy your app as well. And when it comes to debugging, they can read error logs and fix bugs uh, maybe faster than us. Instead of spending five hours on setting up a Next.js application, creating auth, routing, DB models, everything, you can ask an agent to do it in minutes. This doesn't mean developers are going to be replaced, but they're going to be augmented, right? We as a developer will move up in the value chain, like designing things, thinking about the edge cases, while agents will do their own job. And before we go further, a quick shout out to Zigo Cloud, who are sponsoring this video. If you're building any kind of real-time application, like video calls, video chat, voice chat, or even a conversational AI assistant, Zigo Cloud makes it insanely easy. Their SDKs are lightweight, developer friendly, and come up with everything you need from ultra low latency video streaming to AI powered voice interaction. I actually use their conversational AI SDK to build a smart support board for my own demo project. I have personally tried different conversational AI agents in the past, but none can beat Zigo Cloud in performance as well as and you would get 10,000 free dev minutes to prototype your application or even use it personally before launching it to public. You can build all sorts of application with it, whether it's a web app, an Android, iOS, and you can easily integrate it with different frameworks to speed up process even further. So if you're a developer, want to build faster without reinventing the wheel, check out Zigo Cloud, links in the description and also pinned to the comment section. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Okay, now the next part is what you can build with AI agent. Okay, so let's get creative. Here's the few app ideas you can try. You can build on your own, right? First is a real-time chat app. So you can use Zigo Cloud's conversation AI and an agent to scaffold the UI and backend. And you can launch a voice or video chat app in a few hours. Second is like a personal finance tracker. So ask an agent to create a React app with charts, Stripe integration, and login. It can even like set up your Firebase or Superbase database uh, as well. Or you can build some kind of Chrome extension. Like the agent can generate the manifest, the background script, and the content script as well. 
sometimes even if you can create some kind of chat app which you can train or your company's data or your own personal data and you can deploy it other people can ask questions or ask queries and your bot will answer those questions so all of these can be done with light oversight with you and you review the code make tweaks and ship and now let's talk about the challenges and limitations now they're not perfect ai agents have following limitation first is tool integration isn't always smooth like some agents break on file access or version mismatching hallucination is still a problem and sometimes it gets stuck in the rep loops and to be fair it doesn't have an intuition so they don't feel they don't feel the design of ux right as like we do so while agents are powerful you are still the pilot so what will be the future of ai agents and in the next one to two years here's where we are heading so multi-agent systems one agent writes code another agent reviews it and another agent test it so we will have this domain specific agents which will be doing all sort of things ai agents will not just be tools i think they will become like a team member. So just to wrap up this video, AI agents are changing the way we build software. They save time, reduce repetitive work and enable solo devs to ship like big teams, right? And tools like Zigo Cloud, ChatGPT, they can get integrated really easily and powerfully. And I think that's it from today's video. We have discussed so much. If you're a developer today, now is the time to experiment with it. Try building a side project with it, uh, with an AI agent. Set a weekend challenge. You might be surprised what you can do with these things. And if you want a video walkthrough of building an app and AI agent, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share uh, and share with your dear friends. And until next time, thanks a lot for watching.